Hello everyone, I'm Brock from Cabinets by Computer and today we're going to be walking through an, the new version of KD Max version 10. Firstly, thank you to everyone for posting questions in the comments. For any questions that aren't answered during the walkthrough, I'll answer them after in the comments section. So here I'll just bring up a drawing. Uh, it's already been started and nearly complete. Um, just so we don't use up too much time as there's a bit to get through. So here we can see uh, we've got our new uh, change menu up the top. So everything's sort of set up into sections uh, and then it will give you uh, the menu up the top there. So here, just our file section, so you open, save, etc. Um, our start menu, so our main section here, so we've got our products list, um, countertop section, doors, uh, texture assist, as well as your net gallery uh, and dimensions. Across to our view tab, so this is where the camera is, or show and hide objects. Uh, across to edit, so we've got material edited in here, our fit map, um, and all of that sort of stuff in there. Across to our door section, there, so this is where you create doors um, on units themselves, or you can redesign a door itself as well, so I'll show you that one a little bit later. Across to our panel section, so here, creating panels in units, um, turning panels into doors, uh, and again, checking our dimensions. In our line section, this is all of our, our kickers, um, our helmets, corner tops, uh, countertops, sorry, uh, and editing the countertops, etc. In our fit up section, you've got ceiling corners as well as skirting boards, uh, and then also tiling as well in there. In the light section, so this would be your standard uh, turn your lights on uh, producer, producer render in that one, so also creating surface lights, um, editing the lights as well. In the render section, you've got uh, turning on the lights here, uh, producing your renders. Uh, so you've got also batch render, and that would be your standard uh, standard rendering from uh, version 6. Uh, then across to quotation, uh, so here we've got all of our quotation stuff, um, mainly the, I'll be showing the panel area, so how that, how that works. Uh, and the drawing section, so producing your uh, plans and elevations. And then just some settings, so here's your global style setting list. Um, setting up the handles and lastly we've got our server so this would be uh, actually changing parameters on the units as well as adding uh, door colors and all that sort of stuff so firstly I'll just start off um, I'll just add a couple of units in here so I'll go to my start menu open up my products list and I'm gonna go find a tool unit so in my kitchen section here I'll go find a tool unit and I'm just gonna get a two-door uh, tool unit there so I'll just fix that one Set my dimensions, right there of 2100. And what I can do is, uh, there's also an option here to set uh, the panel uh, for the shelves. Uh, so panel or glass, here I want it to be a panel. And then how many shelves are in that unit as well. So I'll just finish that one, and then place that beside that unit there. There we go. So I'll just copy that end panel, and then place it on the end there. Now that we've got that, what I want to do is I actually want to redesign my doors. So I want to put some drawers down the bottom um, and have the two doors open at the top. So up to my door section, I'll go redesign our door here. Select both of those doors, right click to confirm my selection. And then we've got our standard door uh, creation here. So firstly, I want to change it to a drawer then divide that bottom section. And I want to divide that to 720 uh, and I want it to be a horizontal and I want that to be to the bottom. Click OK. And then I'll just do a two equal divide on that bottom section. And then up the top here, I'll change that back to a door. And then divide that one. Again, two equal in a vertical direction. So just split that one up there. Then I go finish for that one. And that will change that door there. Now say you don't want an end panel on a unit. Um, if I just hide that one for now, what we can do is use our editing function. So I'll change my editing function. So I want to paint this end panel here. What I'll do is go to my material editor, select my door, and then what I'll do is I'll apply that. Uh, and there's a, some new options here you can see. So when I'm applying, I can actually apply it to the one face of that object. Uh, I can apply it to that whole object itself, or I can apply that to the same objects or the same type of objects in the drawing. So if I select my end panel here with the same object, it will actually give you all of those green lines. So it's actually updating the color on all those panels. If I select the uh, second option there, it's selecting that one object, so on the one unit. 
and then if it's the one face it's just that one one face on that one as well so uh, there's quite a few different options there uh, and as you can see there's some um, other options here in the material editor as well so just in terms of the type there's actually quite an extensive list now of what type of item uh, what type of uh, object they are so whether it's you know glass or uh, any sort of coatings wall boards etc you can sort of go through there and that's all a preset for those materials so that one's that um, <clears throat> now what we'll do is we'll just uh, finish off this drawing here I'll just grab um, unhide that all. We'll just unhide that panel. I'll just grab my kicker. So I'll just install my kicker for um, that unit there. And then what I'll do is I'll create a waterfall edge on this side here. So up on my countertop, I want to edit that one there. Create a side countertop. Select that edge. And then what I'm going to do is have my settings in here. So my width here, I've already got set at 10 mil. So that's 10 mil overhang already. Bring that one down there we can go ahead and change our colors so say for instance a customer has come to you and they want a few different options um, we can then go and update our colors so I might that do, do that through our style settings um, get my door color here select that one there and I'll just change it to say that cinder color update my door styles for all entities change my color there and then as well I might just change our worktop color to say this uh, light color there okay there we go so now we've pretty much changed our colors there just so across to our quotation now We've got uh, quotation by panel area. There are some settings we can set, so I might show you that one quickly. So by length setting, uh, that's like the standard standard quotation in version 6, and then as well as the area setting. So by area, it will actually ask you, uh, in particularly the board section, we've got um, what type of board it is, so the carcass or the varnish, um, how thick it is, and then what price it is for that board. Um, we can just go through and set that price. Um, here we've just got the, the standard settings here. Uh, and then basically fill that up for a quotation. So if we go and hit it and uh, select our quote by panel area, what that will do is export into a Excel spreadsheet. All right, just bring that one across. So here's our quotation now. So you can see here, everything sort of come through. Um, you'll basically get your unit price for the items. Um, so for instance here, we've got a unit price set. We can sort of uh, change that if we want to on the fly as well. So say our unit price is $50 per metre squared. So I've got a metre meter squared there. We can drag that one down uh, and fill that one out there on the actual, on the actual units. So fill that one out there. Um, then moving on, we'll put our draw hardware, door hardware. Um, so hinges and uh, draw slides. Uh, moving on from that, we've actually got our uh, door color as well. So if we wanted to update that to 100 meters, $100 per meter squared, again, we can drag that color down and update. That price will update based on the meter squared. And then finally, just our accessories. Um, so yeah, you can sort of fill that out. It's just a regular Excel spreadsheet now, so you can sort of do what you like with it from there. So yeah, the other one as well is we've got a new drawing uh, set, uh, drawing here, so a detailed drawing. Um, just load that one up for you. Okay, so there's a detailed drawing. So I'll just zoom in on this one here, for instance. Um, it will give us all these extra options and, and details on the actual uh, door face uh, sizes. So you can see here, there's our, our door face there, as well as our width, and actually what, uh, what door profile, as well as color, is on the door. So that's that one there. And yeah, your, your standard top-down view is much the same as well. Uh, it will give you uh, the measurements there based on the internal carcass dimensions uh, rather than the overall unit size it's just uh, just to be aware of that one so that one's there okay thanks everybody for joining um, any questions that I didn't answer I will come in and answer them in the comment section uh, at the end of this video so thank you all for joining uh, we'll see you all in the next one